Turning Switzerland to the right and Poland to the center, the city by the bay goes dark on purpose, and the pumpkins that sleep with the fishes. Hey again, great to see you. Doug Bernard back for your daily trip through the world's news and the Internet's newest. Well, news to begin, and let's kick off the week's first download in Switzerland, by the way, making its first appearance here. So, welcome Alpine friends. The Swiss making electoral news, namely Sunday's elections, marking a rightward turn there. The populist Swiss People's Party extending its lead as dominant party in Parliament. The winning themes there, opposition to closer EU ties and a tough line on immigration. That's and free hot cocos for everyone. Just kidding on the last part. The EU also a campaign issue in Sunday's Polish elections. This time coming out the winner, though. Donald Tusk's civic platform party, the top vote getter, that's him there. Tusk's platform calling for withdrawal of troops in Iraq and closer EU ties. Ooh, the scene considerably less joyous at the Law and Justice Party, that headed by Prime Minister Jarosław Kaczynski, the Prime Minister soon to become leader of the loyal opposition. Oh, by the way, this side note, Jarosław might be out, but twin brother Lech Kaczynski remaining as Polish president. Yeah, so they've got that. Wow, a glut of election news, it seems. Now, adding to these, big elections coming down the pike in Argentina next Sunday and Australia later in November. Oh, and of course, only 385 days left until the U.S. elections. Well, at every one of these spots, we'll have our correspondent station to bring you the very latest. And you can find that and a whole world all at one spot online, voanews.com. These hot, dry winds, they curl your hair and make your nerves jump and your skin itch. Wow, that's Raymond Chandler, guy who sure knew how to write, on California's famed Santa Ana winds. Uh, his words, our pictures, the Santa Ana winds now fueling wicked fires throughout Southern California. This, the scene around Malibu, conditions mm, just as bad to the south near San Diego. Tens of thousands of acres, now ash. Wow, the fires mostly burning at the whim of the winds. Well, traveling north up the coast now, and, uh, okay, who forgot to pay the electric bill? Now, the switching off here, actually intentional. San Francisco joining other cities in dimming the lights for about an hour Saturday. The not-quite-blackout, a civic statement of conserving energy, and, you know, providing Bay Area hipsters a good excuse for candlelight dinners. Nice. Now, speaking of nice, have we got something for you. I don't mean that promo. Now, as we've mentioned, the download soon giving away an iPod. This is an example of what it looks like. This is actually a video iPod. It's mine here, and you can see, oh, some of the music I like, including, how about that, the Smiths. Well, anyway, we're giving away one of these. It'll hold all your music, your photos, your video uh, uh, podcasts, and movies as well. Next week, we're giving it away. How it works is this. We're going to ask you to watch the download all next week. And at some point next week, we're going to ask you a question about something that you saw here. All the right answers that come to us via email, we put into a big box, and we'll choose the winner very soon. So it's free. It's a video iPod. It's all yours just for the taking, but you have to watch the download to win. You know, exactly how and when the tradition of carving jack-o'-lanterns for Halloween began is still a subject to debate. But here's a pretty sure bet. Mmm, it didn't start with scuba tanks. And to Key Largo, Florida we go. Not the town, by the way, the actual underwater key. Uh, that's where the funsters gathering here to compete in Key Largo's annual underwater pumpkin carving contest. Carvers saying the fish, providing the inspiration for their designs. Hmm, I don't think we see it. I don't think the fish uh, look like they see it either. Well, all the competitors enjoying themselves, but, you know, they're still having a little trouble keeping the candles lit. Still, they look better than mine. Well, that's your download for today. Hope to see you again tomorrow. <laughs>